Oh, Please. hey. Hey. Calm down, man. Let's play Rootman Body Cam Horror Footage. Hello and welcome to Lin who plays short in your games. Today I'm going to play a game by Declazon. It is apparently a very short game, so this is like five minutes, you know, just something... Yeah, if you're waiting for a friend or that the pizza is ready, you know, then you can just watch this Let's Play, that's perfect. Um, well, maybe pizza needs a little more than five minutes, unless you're my husband who likes it, still frozen in the middle, but... Okay, <laughs> this is not about him. This is about Rootman body cam horror footage. Okay, in October 2005, two men, the owner of the house, which house, and a policeman who came to the call, which call, disappeared in the woods. A week later, a footage was found from a policeman's body camera. Okay, if we want to reiterate, so there's a person who owns a house and they call the police and the police comes just as a single policeman, I don't, is that really, they, I see that so often in horror um, stories. Does that happen often? Because I feel like it's not up to code to just arrive with one person. But then we see it a lot, especially uh, like the police um, on the roads, you know, that like stop people when they have like a broken taillight or something. Anyways, uh, let's, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> let's play this game instead of waffling around. Don't like the sound of this. It's very loud. But okay. New game. It's created with my wife in 48 hours. Alright. There we are. Um, oh, there I am. How do I. Roger on Union 121. Okay. Movement is a little bit. Oh, that would works. Rod. 34, one is 34, come in. Do I need to listen to this? Are you in route to the battery suspect 318 East Third Street? No, I don't think so. For repeat? Does it get quieter at some point? Roger, on your screen, 318 East Third Street at in the parking lot. See the parking attendant, subject to the vehicle is a white van, unknown license. What? That has nothing to do with me. Why do I need to hear it? Also, I think I saw this person here. Didn't I? I like the look. This is really... Looks really cool. Really weird, but cool. Don't know if that's, that's how body cam footage looked like in 2005, but at least I can see things. Because a lot of indie devs who weren't alive back then or weren't old enough to know how VHS tapes look like they always have it as grainy that you cannot see anything so it's nice to actually see stuff all right so let's knock on the door i guess oh we can lean oh hey hey calm down man you can first knock calmly and then, after a while, you can get a little bit louder. You don't immediately have to stomp the door in. Oh! Oh! I don't know why I can lean, by the way. Alright. Oh, that's a cute little armchair. I like that. It's like... A woman with a bebe. Mobile phone. Looks like the owner's phone. Oh no, that is blood. No comment there. I will comment on a random mobile phone, but not... What? Why would I... Oh, that's mo even more blood. Shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Voice over. Oh, hey. Okay, let's first look because if I'm alone, I have to check that no one's that is shitty. So that would mean, actually, I think in a realistic scenario, if that door is closed, I would now leave the premise, go back to my car and call for backup. Can I do that? Oh, I can run. I can't. All right. 
was worth a try. I mean, I just wanted to follow protocol, but apparently not. Apparently this character is just very wanton with their own safety. Ugh. No, what? Oh, and there's... Oh, it's the Blair Witch! Root Idol looks scary and creepy. What is it doing here? Well, you gotta ask the Blair Witch. Damn, that's... How does that even happen? Like, how has... How does someone have to die to create this kind of blood splatter? Where's Dexter when you need him? Oh, there was a key. Dexter from the TV show. It's a bit older now, but they had a, like, a new season, so maybe a few more people get the reference. And he was, like, into... He was working with blood patterns at the police just to get the full. I don't want to go. <sighs> Yesterday in the forest found a strange idol made of roots. Why did I bring it home? Now he wants it back. If you're reading this, do not take it in your hands. Ah oh, shit, I did. I did. Does it have two endings? <gasps> what? Is that the mobile phone? Hello? Oh! What Jesus! Oh shit! Uh oh! I got me. Sound base, jump scares, always. Even if they're not good, well done. But this is kind of... Oh! Shit. Oh, now it's open. No, do we want that? We don't. Oh. oh. Ooh, this is just a demo prototype. It's a good one. Yeah, I really enjoyed this. It looks really cool. Um, I mean, the story is quite... It's kind of typical in a way, but also very well done, I think. And if this is just the intro to a bigger game that will be on Steam, I can add the link to wishlist it if you want to. Um, not if you want to, I will do that. And um, then, then it might be really interesting to get more, you know, info about it. Um, I think I would change the design of the of the wood thingy of the idol because that looks like 100% Blair Witch idol <laughs> and I think I would just change it so it's that not everyone has immediately that reference in their heads you know and then compares it because I think yeah you always have the Blair Witch in your head and then you compare it to the movie or to the movies and, and the other video game but if it looks different, then you get more drawn to just folkloric uh, horror forest wood creatures in general. But I like the gist, um, and I think this was done... Yeah, I, I really enjoyed this. And I like that, for example, the blood was done in a way that you're like, how the... what the heck happened here? Like, how does this happen to have a blood splatter like this? So very... Um, very distinct, effective things within this short, very short intro. I liked it. How did you like it? Um, also, would you go and inspect or would you go back to the car and call for backup? I mean, even not knowing what happens because obviously <laughs> he got murdered. But uh, if we don't know, what would you do? Also, yeah, if you know that, do, is it okay like to have just one single policeman come to a call like this? Don't, don't you need just in general backup with two people? I'm confused because that feels highly unsafely. And also if the police person does something bad, then, well, okay, as if a second police person would say something, you know, as if they would intervene. So that doesn't matter. But yeah, the rest, you know, please, uh, if, if you know something about the American police system, 
then enlighten me. Also, if you're new to this channel, you know, I play a lot of indie horror games. And if you enjoyed this, well, maybe you, you enjoy uh, more of them. You know, so subscribe. And I promise you, if I'm a wood monster... I and you would enter my murder scene I would just let you leave because honestly I'm a wood monster you will probably not get me I would just vanish back into the woods and disappear and what are you gonna do about it you know so no need actually to kill you as well um yeah so subscribe <laughs> anyways I hope you had a good time I hope you have a wonderful day and maybe see you next time bye this is my self-recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews, and let's plays.